So today I am taking you guys to Buffalo Hills again. Since my last vlog has been a while ago and my editing style was kind of different. So we have reached the trail star and am about to begin. It's a family hike, Mama Che. Hello. The nearest public transport is Wong Nai Tao bus stop, and from there, we follow the sign all the way up to the trail start. You can take a bus there, but we actually walked from Shak Mun MTR. See my blog post for more details. From the trail start, it's mostly stairs and some flat trail. Hi Wing! So we reached a junction, we need to go up here. So this is what it looks like, and then you need to go left, otherwise you will end up on a long way up. The junction takes us to the thicket on a narrow trail that goes steadily up on stairs and dirt. Don't put on the trees like Mama Chair. We have now emerged out from the vegetation and you can see Shatin behind us. So this is the shortcut, don't miss it. Otherwise you have to go quite a long way indeed. And but we still quite a bit of way to go. So in conclusion, the word quiet was used a lot. <laughs> You can see Sha Tin and the mountains around us, but there's still a bit of a way to go before you get to West Buffalo Hill, but less far to the silver grass. We are not quite at the West <laughs> Buffalo Hill yet, but uh, we found <laughs> the <laughs> silver grass, so photo taking is happening. And we saw. Oh, there were a lot of people around us, but I think they moved on now. Maybe so, two years ago when I hiked, there wasn't a lot of people, but I think that has changed. From here, it's pretty much silvergrass heaven again, although I do think Tai Mo Shan has higher density. And in front of us is the West Buffalo Hill. So finally, this is Wong Ao Shan, West Buffalo Hill, and it is silvergrass heaven. Just look. Now we're going to find a window there as well, like a rock window, and Wing is trying to look for it. Wing is crossed. We headed up the hill, but then down again, looking for the insta-famous rock window. And after some false start, we found it. So this turns out to be between the West Buffalo Hill and the route that will come up from Shang'e then, but like still close to Buffalo Hill. And we're in the queue to take photos at the rock window because it is that popular. So according to that guy that just passed us, he said that it took him half an hour from where we are, so we'll see about that. It's often quite busy, so prepare to queue and social distance. The trail is also very slippery, so be careful. News flash, we are here. Swapping people. This is the window. Okay. Isn't that cool? Hi, Mom. Hi. The rock window is actually safer than it looks and on the side of the hill. We finally finished the photo and the queue has increased again, as you can see. So from there, you can go up here, which also just goes back up, but it's a little bit easier. And it's not as um, dusty. Put my hat on the floor now, it's completely dusty. From there, we headed back up the hill, which is easier than going down the slippery slope. We have hiked our way back up to West Buffalo Hill. So here you can get a much better view of Saigon. And we're going that way to the other Buffalo Hill. From West Buffalo, it's a slight dip and up to go to Water Buffalo, but don't miss the big rock photo spots right here. There is a little shortcut that skirts around the edge of the, wa the Water Buffalo Hill, which we did, and now we're walking towards another rock clutter, which will lead us to the route that I started to say, go, yep, I just tripped. Head to the big rock cluster as it leads us down to the Buffalo Pass. The path is more clearer than my 2018 hike and it's easier to follow. We are at Buffalo Pass, so we came down from Water Buffalo Hill. It is super crowded here, so I'm just gonna run. Head straight across and go down. I cannot run because of the crowd. It's pretty flat at the start until the sign. We have made it to the junction, so Wing pointed it. We're going to Bakshawan that way. Maybe it takes us to Saigon. It says an hour to hour, but it should be less than an hour because it's 2.3 kilometers. Let's see. Let's see. The trail was still flat for a bit before it became a long staircase down and eventually connected to a road. We have just emerged from the route and now we're on concrete trail. 
So it's still gonna take us a little bit of a while to get to Cycle Center. So let me just show you this a fast way. It's a pretty long walk down, so prepare for that mentally. The bonus is that the bus stop is right at the end, so you can catch a bus to the Cycle Town Center or out. So behind me is the main road that goes in and out of Saikong. So this is the wrap for the hike. The last part is a bit long. It took like 30, 40 minutes. So bear that in mind. But I hope you enjoyed the Buffalo Hill Track vlog update. I'll update the blog post as well, which you can find in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this hike and I'll see you in the next vlog.